What is happening you guys fresh foot back with another unboxing uh, gear review this time I have a big surprise for you guys you guys uh, a lot of you guys might not know this but um uh, Shimano has came out with a brand spanking new Stratic FL so I happens to have one in my hands today so we'll see uh, what it looks like and how it feels and we'll go from there let's see what's inside all right, so right off the bat, um, I have owned a lot of Shimano's product, uh, spinning reel at least, and this is the first time that I noticed that it came in a white box. This is the first one, so let's check it out. That's a very nice handle, I'll tell you that. Pretty light too. But the reel itself feels a little heavy compared to the CI4. This little piece here looks like a plastic, but it's a very tough plastic, very hard. Let's hear the drag. Ooh, very nice. Okay, already I noticed that um, this this thing here, where you grab it out, it's bigger. And that's, I, I like that design. And then you got your seal there. And nothing special inside the spool there. Spool feels kind of premium. Feels like it's made out of uh, high grade aluminum or something I don't know if those screws are anodized or what but they just look like normal black screw I figured they would have used like a, um, a stainless steel or some kind of nickel to, uh, for corrosion resistance who knows that may be uh, it's anodized so Okay, right off the bat, right here, it's very different from the old one, uh, the FK. It's got a like a a jar lip type. That's a new design that I haven't seen. Pretty cool looking, actually. Shimano got rid of the anti reverse there. I believe the Stratic FK had it. And then when they went to the FB, they uh, dropped it. Wow, that thing's smooth. Refined too. You know, this almost feels as good as the sustain. Not quite there. But wow. Pretty smooth. Okay, so no wobbles. Let's check the clearance here. Oh, the tolerance is pretty tight. Not quite as tight as the sustain. All right, so as long as we're here, let's read the box. All right, so this is uh, Stratic 25 HG 6 uh, 0 0.0 to 1 gear ratio and the drag is uh, 9 9 9 kilo and 20 pound and it weighs a whopping 7.9 ounces 7 ball bearing 35 inch turn I want to say uh, there's there's two main features that are new on this uh, reel uh, maybe three uh, that um, you can consider the expert tech and the long spool here okay now the expert tech is uh, trickling uh, it trickle down from the Shimano Stella which is their elaborate uh, jigama thing to protect uh, uh, them from wa uh, water uh, but the old one has the corporate tech the corporate tech on the old one is just like a hydrophobic 
spray that they put on there to like you know repel water or something like that but the expertec it's an actual uh labyrinth of uh cutouts that uh, they use so that uh, water has a tougher time to get into uh, the main gear and stuff like that okay so you got your long spool here for so you can cast a little further I guess so this one piece bale here is made out of uh, uh, stainless steel where the uh, the Shimano FB uh, Stratic FB has a titanium bale I don't know why they didn't use a titanium but you know titanium would be lighter and stronger maybe it costs more I guess but I got a feeling that they're gonna come out with a, a Stratic FC which is their CI4 plus model you know like because they had the, uh, the FA and then the FB CI4 plus and um, of course the FK uh, was this guy's replaced uh, uh, this guy replaced the uh, FK so it almost looks the same as the old one. Uh, they went with the same, almost the same color uh, scheme here too. Except this one looks a lot more sleek. So I don't have a whole lot of information on this yet because they're not out in the um, uh, US market. So I, I, I couldn't really find anything on them. So, but somehow I was able to get my hands on one of these. I got a feeling that this, uh, when it comes out, it's going to cost probably about $240 to $260, depending on which size. But, like I said, you know, I, I've, I can't find any pricing on these yet, but somehow I, I, I bought it for $160, and for what I paid for, I'm gonna have to give this guy a 10 out of 10 here um, because of the price that I paid for I mean it's a stellar reel it is a little heavier than what I anticipate it to be this guy just spins and spins real easy to build trip it doesn't have quite that sound there's a pitch, there's a note that uh, uh, that I look for when uh, I hear a bell snap. Not quite the sound that I want from a, a, a mid-range reel. But it, it's not bad at all. So There's very, very little in inertia start up here. It takes very little energy to turn. And once it's turning... It is super refined, super silky. This guy's made in Malaysia. Um, I remember, I remember when um, I bought the uh, Shimano Stratic FA, and I got it at Bass Pro. It cost me nearly 170 270 dollars for it because of taxes and everything, and. Um, I got this for half that price and this is out of this world pricing for a reel. I mean, considering it just came out or it didn't even come out to the US market yet. Okay, so you got a handle here that's pretty kind of slick actually. It's kind of slippery. But it feels really nice on the hand. Tolerance is good. Again, guys, I, I don't know the ins and outs of uh, reels. I just use them and I tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them. Um, the reason I gave this guy a 10 out of 10 is because of, of the price I paid for it. Because I really like the FK. You know, the FK was a decent reel. But this one is probably twice as good as that one. So this is a very good reel. There's a whining. You hear that whining? Sounds kind of nice though. Again, you know, hopefully in time uh, that sound will go away. But this thing just keeps on turning. So this kind of handle here, um, I've, 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 I don't believe I've ever seen one like it from Shimano. Usually it's just, you know, a 
piece a single piece here and then a piece here but this one it it is a single piece but it has this little curvature here kind of ang helps the angle I, I still have a lot of reels I got to test out yet. So I got a Daiwa Certate LT I got to test out. Uh, Shimano Accent I still got to test out. So um, it's going to be on my things to do list. And when I get this, um, I'll, I'll do an update and what have you. And uh, if you guys like this kind of video, please check out my other video and subscribe if you want. All right, then I'll see you guys on the other side of the lake. Fish foot out.